Hello everybody, my name is Alejandro Duto. This is another ISDC video. Welcome to Aruba again. Today we're going to be diving the oil tanker of the Devi 2. For this video, as usual, we're going to have the dive briefing, the dive itself, and the history. So sit tight and join me. Welcome back. As I said, today we're going to be diving the Devi 2. This one used to be an oil tanker. Uh, it used to be 120 by 20 feet in dimensions. This is uh, approximately 40 meters by 6 your tank. It is resting nowadays upright, intact, at 70 feet, which is uh, 21 meters, which makes it an ideal wreck to be uh, dived by the advanced open water. Given that it is sitting upright and intact, it has many penetration options, but uh, the amount of life around the wreck is just uh, stunning. You have Blue Reef right by the, by the wreck, and also the Star Garen is close by. So uh, without further ado, let's go to the water. Hi, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the dive. This one was launched in June 15th, 1961 
by J. Balson and Son from the UK as an oil tanker. Its original name was Coral Shell and their original owners were the Shell Company in the Bahamas. During that period of time, the Coral Shell uh, sailed under the United Kingdom flag. By 1972, it was sold to the Shell Company of Willemstad in Curaçao. It was renamed to Debbie II, replacing the Debbie, and uh, it was uh, used to move oil from Curaçao to Bonaire. It was basically the main way to get uh, oil to the Bonaire island. So, as we said, the Devi 2 replaced the Devi on moving oil from Curaçao to uh, Bonaire. But, of course, with time, the demand increased in Bonaire. They started receiving larger planes and there were more cars in the island and, and so on. So in November of 1981, it was replaced by the MACB, that was a, a larger tanker, in order to do the same job. At this point, the story of the Devi 2 starts to get a little bit fuzzy, but it's known that in uh, 1983, it was located in Aruba and it was uh, welded out in order to serve as a wind and water breaker. Later on, and having ended its useful life, it was sunk as an artificial reef on March of 1991 and uh, it was basically sculpted where it, where it is today. And this is how we arrive to the end of another video. If you like it, please leave us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and leave your comments down here below. I hope to see you soon in our next video. Thank you very much.